Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. A friend sent this my way. One of the most iconic television props ever. As far as science fiction goes, perhaps the most iconic. You know, Star Trek, I was never really a Trekkie, you know. I think I probably saw all of the episodes as they re-ran after school in the 70s. And as for Star Wars, people sometimes get the idea that I'm a big Star Wars fanatic, but really, I think I only saw them sporadically after the second one. I didn't even see all of them. Let's see, that second one, that was like episode five. It's weird. Anyway, what I do love about the original Star Wars, 1977, 78, somewhere in there, is how the movie was created. That's where my interest lies. George Lucas is a freaking genius. The blue screen chroma key work in that movie, it's legendary. That's where I started. Now back to Star Trek. I've always been intrigued as to how they managed to make people believe they were on this Starship Enterprise, on this bridge. Man, I could never do that. Anyway. I was, um, told to be careful with this thing. Now we need to talk about this curiosity image. It's from Soul 1439. This is a, uh, navigational camera image. It's the right nav cam. And it is in grayscale with, of course, a limited resolution. Now my friend Chris Maroney recently did a piece on this image and I told him I wanted to follow up with something. I'll put a link to that video of his at Mars Anomalies and Beyond in the description of this video. Chris does an outstanding job with his work. Now they've labeled this as being a B-U-T-T-E butte, which is a natural formation. And I agree, uh, this does appear to have some of the same characteristics as our natural buttes here on Earth. However, Chris and I both agree that looks may be deceiving because there appears to be something else going on here. There is an unusually large amount of very evident obfuscation in this image for a nav cam image. We usually don't see this much. Just about every bit of that solid dark gray covering the side of this is fake. And a very large piece of debris sitting right in the middle. So how big is it? 2.88 meters or about nine and a half feet in length. And as far as the height of the butte itself, 11.3 meters or 37 feet. Now that measurement includes a section that is not in the frame here. How do we know that? Well, I'm gonna show you in just a minute. We're not guessing around here, folks. And it gets even better because we have stereoscopic 3D imagery. We will no longer be limited by two-dimensional imagery, folks. So just how far is it from the rover to the butte? That is about one half of an American football field. By now, you've probably noticed something not yet mentioned. I know you see it. Don't act like you don't. Raise your hand if you see a bird perched up there. And then take that same hand and slap yourself in the head. I believe they left this intentionally because they knew what people were going to think. And we'll show you how we know it's not a bird here in a moment. But what is the size of this thing? So this is the measurement we got from this angle. Now Chris Maroney alerted me to where we can see another angle. 11 Martian days prior, the rover Curiosity was sitting here on the opposite side of the butte looking back. That strange triangular looking object is actually what appeared to be a bird from the opposite angle. Scanning the horizon, it's actually quite interesting and I think you'll really like the 3D area showing that in particular. Now it's hard to tell what 
is going on here or what was going on. However, there is our object from the other side. Here's some measurements to put things into perspective. And by the way, the object over there on the right side now, from this angle, measured a couple of feet taller than from the other at about five and a half or six feet. So what about mast cam imagery? Well, here we go. And to the right, that triangular object is the object in question. I'm not gonna say much about this. I'm just going to leave you with it and I hope you do stay tuned for the stereoscopic 3D area. If you do not know how to do it, there is a link in the description that tells you exactly what needs to be done. See you all next time. Thank you.